Hello, hello. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to Friday Sews. I'm Stephanie, and thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. And in case you don't know, Friday Sews is a lot of sewing and a lot of life mixed together. And if you haven't seen other channels that are participating in Friday Sews, the easiest way is to hit the hashtag Friday Sews, and they'll just pop up. So that's pretty cool because there's more joining all the time and that'll give you the most recent list of everybody that's doing Friday Sews. I really enjoy watching Friday Sews on other channels. Like watching TV is not, is not as fun. This is more fun because they're talking about what I like. Sewing. I want to say first before I get into my sewing, this is my rainy day hair because it's just pouring out there. And why, why would I fix my hair when it's raining? So this is not my natural hair. My natural hair is not straight, it's not curly, so this is straight. You know how you use the little, mm. remember when we used to put it on the ironing board? Way <laughs> back before we had all these cool implements. Okay, I just dated myself, but I was really good at that. And I carry a hairband, man, just to pull it back and put a ponytail. Rainy hair day. Okay, let's talk sewing. I haven't done a lot of sewing, and I wanna tell you why. I've been cleaning out my sewing room closet and organizing. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with the result. One of the things I was having trouble with was my stash of fabric. I just couldn't get to it. It was sloppy, I made it sloppier every time. It's kinda like when you're in the store and you want a size that's at the bottom of the pile and you pull it out and the whole pile just got messed up. That's what my fabric looked like. I came up with something that I'm super happy with and I'm going to do a video on my fabric storage. But I don't know if it's gonna come out before this video or right after, but watch for it. <laughs> I'm really happy with it. Ah, so happy. Uh, so sewing wise, I haven't done a whole lot. I did cut out a new top. I talked about making this top again. This is my green top that I showed last week or the week before. And I knew I wanted to do it again because I don't like the green top and I can't tell if it's the fabric. And it's funny because I cut it out the exact same way. And I started thinking maybe it was the V-neck that I didn't like because I don't wear a lot of those. So I've already cut it out, it's gonna be a V-neck, but if I try it again, I might do the scoop neck and see if that changes it. I like the idea of the dress. It's the kind of thing I wear a lot of tunic and leggings is what I wear the most. I'm kind of wearing that today. I'm wearing a sweater dress that I got from Stitch Fix. I have a video where I got this. I just love this with the little keyhole. That's so cute. And then a leggings and boots, and then my jacket that I made out of this awesome, awesome fleecy material. It's like wearing a blanket. And oh my gosh, this was my tester for this pattern. And then I made the follow up, um, what I call my Yellowstone jacket. I've got a video on that if you want to watch it. And they both just go with everything. This color right here, I have my purses this color. I have some boots this color. I wear a lot of this color. So this jacket, it just goes with everything. I absolutely love it. I didn't think I was going to, and I wear it all the time. Might have to make another one, who knows? Anywho, why don't I like that green top? I just don't know. So I'm making it again and this beautiful fabric is a pattern that I love. It's pretty, it's a color that I love, a color I would love to wear. And so I'm gonna really test the pattern now to see if it's the pattern or if it was just that fabric that I didn't like. So it's cut out, it's a super easy fast make. So we'll see if I get that done uh, before the kids come. I'll tell you about that in a second, but that's what I'm working on right now. The other thing I'm working on is I'm rehemming these two tops that I talked about last week on Friday Sews because I agree with everybody. We all agreed. We don't like the high-low. It's the pattern called for the high-low. It's very low in the back. You just look at the picture. I'm going to put that pattern up so you can see. In the picture, it's very long in the back, like this much longer than the front. I don't like it. It looks weird. So I'm evening them out. I'm both tops I'm gonna to even out and if I make it again, I will have that already cut into my pattern piece so that it will not be ever high-low again. I just don't want it. So I have worn this. This is the red, red and blue. Oh my gosh, I have worn this and worn this and worn this. I just love it. I think I wear it every day if I fix my pam. <laughs> I might make this again. I love this pattern so much and I know a lot of you are making it. If you make it, would you go post a picture of it on Feral Focus on Facebook so we could all see each other's hoodie dresses? We could just wear hoodie dresses. Who needs to ever get dressed up again? I never go anywhere. 
sewing class. I want to update you on sewing class. We did not go this week. Something came up for my son. And so um, because of that, we didn't go. We rescheduled. And it's not next week because that didn't work out either. It's the following week. So I don't have anything to update you on with sewing class except this. I was talking to the sewing teacher and I said, um, I'll just save some of the time by cutting out my pattern at home. Because I've already drawn my pattern out on pattern paper myself. And I was going to cut it out. I was going to serge all the pieces, make it all pretty, and then bring it to class. So, this dress I already made for my granddaughter. And I finished it to send to her so she could try it on as a test dress. And I put the neckline on and, and it was wonky. It didn't work. Um, I did something wrong. It was close. So I believe that it was me. Like I wasn't precise. And it was a really cool way that they finished this neckline. And I'd like to see it actually work. And I started to think... You know, maybe I cut it slightly off. Maybe I surged it slightly off. I, I wasn't trying to trim it when I surged it, but maybe I did. So maybe a couple of slightly offs turned it into far off. And so I am not going to work on this dress except in sewing class. That's my plan. So this is a sewing project for sewing class. I'm not going to touch it at home. I'm going to make all my mistakes right in front of my teacher. She can just say, stop. That's not how you do it. Then we'll find out what the heck. What the heck? You know, how do I get these things right? Because I had so many problems, these problems are all solved. That'll be new skills to add to my skill set. I'm excited. Okay, that's my sewing update. I hope to get back to some sewing next week, but this week it's all about five days with my grandkids. My daughter's going out of town for her birthday and they're staying with me. I have to tell you a funny story. I was talking to my daughter this morning on the phone and I could hear my granddaughter in the background just saying something. And she said, oh, mom, you got to hear this. So she put it on speakerphone. And my granddaughter was saying, tomorrow is going to be the best day of my entire life. <laughs> They're coming over here tomorrow. How amazing is it to be somebody's best anything? Oh, please don't ever grow up. <laughs> it's just so, it's so cool. It's so fun. So, um... I bought them a couple things to play with at my house. I always, I always, I always try to find them cool things. I don't buy them something every time they come over, but they ask. Every, Did you get something new? Did you get something new? It's the first question out of my grandson's mouth. So this is what I bought for my granddaughter. It's a sewing machine. Walmart sells these for like 20 bucks. Not like, it's right around 19.97. And so it's probably, you know, crappy toy. We're going to see. We're going to see. So she said her best friend Claire has one, but it's broken. So I'm already kind of clued into that. But I think we're going to keep it here at Grammy's house. She can only use it when she's supervised. That way it won't get broken. And if she loves it, we'll move from there to something like using my sewing machine. So she's going to be so excited. I said to her, we, uh, we went out for my daughter's birthday for dinner. And it was the first time we've all been out to dinner together since pretty much covid um, you know, everything compliant and all of that, but oh my gosh, it was so nice to eat out. And uh, so I said to Sis, I go, did you know that your Grammy has a channel on, on YouTube? She watches an American Girl doll channel where a young girl does the hosting of her own channel. And so she likes to pretend host with her. She takes my phone and she pretend hosts YouTube all the time. And then her showing me around her room and her toys, she was like very hosty sounding. It's very cute. So I said, Grammy has a channel. Would you like to be a guest on my channel? <gasps> you would have thought that I just gave her the lottery numbers. She was so excited. So we'll see if that turns out. No promises, but with the, we'll see. If we get some sewing done, maybe she could be a guest for next week. Would that be cute? If something turns out, I'll let you know. But I can't buy her something and not buy something for my grandson. And he only does Legos and Minecraft. And I'm like not buying it. I'm just, I'm not. I've already bought him a lot of Legos, but you know, come on, branch out. And when they're at my house and they play outside, is we're out in the country and they can dig and dig and dig. And he loves to do that. And he loves to look for rocks and he finds pretty ones. And he calls them all crystals, even though they're not all crystals. <laughs> I bought him this. It was next to the sewing machine. How cute is this? It's like this block of sand and inside are a bunch of gemstones and you have goggles and a hammer and a tools to find these gemstones. He'll probably have it done in 30 minutes, but won't that be cute? And of course, sis will be jealous about the gemstones, but they do share pretty good. So my time right now is going to be like getting their room ready and getting myself ready. Um, 
I need to like be calm <laughs> or not. We have plans. It's going to be fun. Hubby's not booked much for this time period, so he'll be there to help and uh, spend time with them. And just, you know, we'll just play. We're just going to have fun. And um, But something happened today I want to tell you about. I'm super excited. So a little backstory is if you've been watching my channel, you probably know that we have a photography studio in our local town and do all kinds of photography. So we do the phone book cover for our local phone company every year. I have been doing it for 20 plus years and it's really fun. And we try to find things that are interesting and local and um, you know, just things that you would know that this is our area, flowers or you know, iconic things. And uh, we just have so much fun finding them. In fact, I think my very first video on this channel was about that. It was this really cool story I came across researching the phone book cover and it was about uh, the immigrant trail and I did a whole video on it and if you want to see that I'm going to put a link that's my very first video and I love researching these stories a little bit of history a little bit of local stuff anyways cutting to the chase uh, today we went and presented um, some photographs to choose from for the cover and they're all of the same thing I can't tell you what the thing is because we let it be a surprise it comes out in May uh, so I will just leave that little bit of curiosity I'll be talking about it again when it comes out but for this it's a local iconic thing and we had several pictures and I told hubby I said well I've got a few pictures of that if you want to look at them and he said sure and he liked some of mine and so he put them in the mix for them to choose from and guess what they totally picked my picture I didn't even know we're sitting there and looking at them and I couldn't tell you which one was my picture I thought I thought one of them was like crappier <laughs> And they discarded it right away and I thought well there went my picture <laughs> really this is true I really thought that and um, so we're we're leaving and I'm um, thinking of my story thinking of the work that I need to put into write my story we do a little story that goes on the inside and it's kind of you know for people that are new to the area or whatever to see what what we talk about what's on the cover anywho uh, we talked on the phone because he's going one way and I'm going the other right after this meeting and he said, congratulations on your first phone book cover. And I said, what? What are you talking about? Because that was your picture. And I'm like, that wasn't my picture. That was your picture. And he goes, look, I know what my picture is. Okay, it wasn't my picture. It was your picture. And I'm like, well, I am going to be excited when I get home and double check. Because I don't, I don't believe you. I really don't believe you. So I came home. I didn't even pet the dog. I just ran straight to my laptop, pulled up the picture. Oh, it's my picture. My picture. He's the photographer. I'm just a fake photographer. <laughs> I'm not that great. Oh, I always say that. And I'm going to have to stop saying that now. I've been published in a magazine. Now I'm published on a phone book cover. I'm going to have to stop saying I'm not a photographer. <laughs> I don't want the pressure. <laughs> so I told my daughter, and she goes, is that the picture that I'm using on my real estate website? And I go, maybe. So I went and looked. I'm like, no, that's a different picture. <sighs> you ever feel like... I don't know, like everybody thinks you're better at something than you do. That's how I feel about photography. I don't think I'm that good at it. And then I love some of my pictures so much, so it's really hard to say. It's just, I'm married to this most amazing artist in photography. He's so great that it's hard to ever put my picture next to his. But today, my picture was sitting right next to several of his and they picked mine. So I'm just really excited and he's excited for me. So that's my good news. And so we're going to be sharing more about that as we go. And um, one thing I would invite you to do is come find me on Facebook if you're on Facebook because I'll be sharing more about that and I'll be sharing what's going on with the kids and I love to share that and I love to see what you're sharing too. So come find me on Facebook. I'm on pretty much every social media platform I've ever heard of. Um, I also post on Instagram a lot. I've posted a few TikToks. And, um, but Facebook's really where I'm at every day. I just love to go look and see what's going on. And I love to see what you're up to because it's really fun. And I think, I think I want to see your hoodies. Did everybody make a hoodie? Cause you're all writing to me that you're going to make a hoodie. If you did, would you please go on Facebook and post it and tag me or something so I can see it? Or we've got the Feral Focus page and you can just go put it in there. And, um, maybe we'll do, I'll do one and everybody can post them in there so we can all see them together. Wouldn't that be cool? So I'll post a picture of my hoodies. And if you've done a hoodie, go post your picture in the comments and we'll look at everybody's hoodies. 
let's just let's just have a hoodie club <laughs> okay wish me luck on five days with grandkids hope I survive I will let you know next week and um, I hope you're having a great day hope you're having a great weekend and um, I'm filming this on a Tuesday to post on a Friday so by the time you see this I will already be three days well, two and a half days into my Grammy five-day journey <laughs> so if you want to see how things are going come find me on Facebook and I hope you're having a great weekend <sighs> hashtag Friday says go take a look at everyone else and I'll see you next time thanks for watching bye now oh hit the subscribe button if you haven't already like thumbs up comment <laughs>